all students have completed their setup before starting the exam, and we have checked their uh, Zoom screen setup and um, camera setup. Then each student can start the exam. And remember, we need to send the key, exam key, to them. And one way to send them is through Zoom chat. That you are allowed to send to all the students joining the Zoom sessions with you. So that key is this one. Remember, the the exam key that uh, for the exam you just created, and also don't forget that this option has to turn on. Okay, so let's use this one to simulate and to see how student would work on their exam environment on this exam.net. So student will get the key here. Okay, enter it. Type in the name. Okay, for me, this is it. And okay. So I can do the exam now as a student. So this panel on um, the left hand side is the menu that student can work on. Okay, and this is the exam paper that has been uploaded. And here, this is the working area. It may look small. Don't worry, we can enlarge them. So um, here we can browse and read the whole exam paper. Okay, and okay, the working area maybe side by side like this. Okay, actually this can be um, adjusted to have it bigger or smaller as well. And we can also zoom in the exam paper. Okay, and this is the area where student can type in their answer. So let's try answer for question one. Okay, and what a student can do is of course, simple text formatting can be done. And um, simple functions such as inserting a table also possible too. Column one, column two. Okay, let's say I am creating a table as part of my answer. I can insert my data. Okay, I can also type in some text copy and paste text within the working area of my answer. Okay, this is fine. Do the indentation, a um, few other things. Okay, not so many. And what I can also do from here. Okay, now let's go to this left-hand side menu. From reading number one, remember this is the uh, resource that we allow, we may allow the student to refer to in case of open book exam and we want to provide the reading resources by ourselves. Okay, these are all the resources. And this uh, from the exam setup, we allow some of the programming script to be written here. So this is the menu from here, number four. And then calculator, this is the calculator. Okay, we can do some of the calculation using this, okay. And drawing tool, this one is important and perhaps can be useful. Student can draw some tool, uh, drawing such as like this. Okay, can type in some text, okay. Uh, system one, I can also draw some line type in some other text. Okay, that's it. And then save. After clicking save, this uh, drawing will be loaded into the exam area here. You can see, okay, these include my recent drawing that I can drag somewhere and then I can continue working on my exam solution. Okay. And as I already mentioned, that it's also possible that I can take a photo of uh, my solution that I may write on a paper. So here, this menu, scan solution on the left-hand side. Okay, this is what I can do. So I click on scan solution. You can see these will be given a QR code. 
then what I have to do is I take my mobile phone. I use the mobile phone to scan the QR code on the screen here. Okay, and then okay, let me do it. QR code. Okay, now I'm scanning the QR code on the screen. All right, and then I will take a photo of my writing, my written solution. Okay, let's say it is this one. Then I click on uploading on my camera, uh, on my mobile phone, sorry. Then it will be connecting to this one uh, and then it will be here. This is what I just took a photo. Okay. Then during that time, that means my mobile phone will be used for um, taking photo. And if it is used for the zoom at that time before, it has to be switching to the camera taking first and then switch back to the zoom, something like that. So let's go back to the show exam. You can see this is the photo that has just been taken. Okay, so what's next that we can do as a student here in this menu is teacher chat in case we have some question or something we want to chat with the teacher is also possible. Okay, hello, I have a question about blah, blah, blah. Okay, then the teacher will get this uh, on her or his uh, monitoring dashboard. We will have a look at the monitoring dashboard later on. Okay. And um, what else? Then, um, of course, there are certain questions that you may have about what if students try to um, use some other programs or resources on his or her machine, the one that he is working on. So in case that right now I am in my environment here, right? But suppose that I'm trying to switch to other program. I'm trying to switch to other screen, other uh, files and so on, okay? I'm doing it. Here, whatever that I'm trying to do, I will be locked. And if it is um, uh, intentional attempt, of course, um, teacher or instructor may need to chat or may need to communicate with the student what happened, whether uh, we will allow student to continue working on the exam or we'll just uh, stop him or her, okay? So as a student, I might provide my uh, explanation that I accidentally switch to other program not on purpose, <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay, then request send to the instructor. But of course, whether I will be allowed to continue or not, it depends on the instructor decision and the instructor may want to chat with the student further in order to inspect, okay, all right. So here is um, how it goes. You can see that, um, Later on, okay, I, I have been unlocked by the, quest, uh, the, the, the teacher, the instructor. Then I can continue. Let's say um, I want to submit or not, or I want, I want to continue. Okay, then I can continue. And um, after I finish, okay, I can click on submit exam. But I have only one time submission, of course, one chance. Okay, after submitting, I cannot come back to correct or add any other thing else. Yes, and this is done, my work as a student. Thank you.